Boom. Sunday, February 5th, I believe. I gotta show you, I gotta show you what's going on outside. Friend said, uh, I'm glad you look warmer in your last video because it seems like you're, it looks like, sometimes it looks like you're in like Nova Scotia or something. Uh, maybe I am. I'm in the northern climb of eastern Washington, the northern part. Not even that far north. Uh, so the big deal. Oh, by the way, I'm Steen. I'm your host. The big deal this week, I will hit two months on T. It's pretty awesome. That's all I got to say. That's the end of the video. There's nothing else to share except um, I had a, like a, oops, sorry, I had like a crazy week of ups and downs and um, it wasn't like from the tea or anything. It was more dealing with the stress of working through how I'm going to come out at work and then witnessing some pretty ignorant conversations at work and then almost losing it and just coming out. And, um, so that, that stuff is really stressful, especially I, um, it's not like I work in like a super hip <laughs> place. I'll leave it at that. Uh, but I'm working on that. That process is happening. I'm working with my therapist on how to kind of stage that out. So that was really intense. I was really kind of reclamped by the end of my work week. And uh, so I went to acupuncture, which just totally brought me back down. I was like, de-stressed me, chilled me out. I felt great after that. And um, by then, I, by like Friday, I was just thinking through stuff and I'm like, you know, I've, I just thought about the places where I'm not out and how detrimental that is to my experience in life and how, what I realized is that that experience kind of takes the joy and the momentum away. And so it's hard to feel happy about what's going on. Like I'm happy about what's going on. But when I get back in these environments where I feel like I have to hide or I wonder about what's going to happen. It just like takes the wind out of my sails. So I go to Weight Watchers International. I go to Weight Watchers. It's how I maintain my weight and uh, how I've been working on getting, you know, these last 10 pounds, uh, which are a struggle, especially as your muscles are getting bigger. You're not really losing weight. And I really love my meeting. I really love the people at my meeting and I'm not out there. So I decided I had to come out and I approached the leader and I was super nervous, you know, and then it was just awesome. The whole thing was awesome. And it turns out that they have actually recently trained their leaders in trans issues and all my fears about having to find another meeting and how was I going to deal with this? It was just like wiped clean. She was so awesome with me. And that was, oh, I can't even tell you how amazing that was. And then I talked to, I texted with um, somebody I know from that group who's, I kind of hang out with this group of people, sometimes go out for breakfast and I have, I'm not out to any of them. And so I finally just told her, I was just like, are you seated? I'm trans, you know, uh. and she was awesome and cool and was like asking me where I'm at on my transition and you know it just goes to show uh, that fear can't run the game it often does but when you can put it aside for a minute you I just felt so pleasantly surprised by this outcome and felt so much love and again like that continues to be the gift so two months on testosterone however many months of transitioning what I'm learning is there's love in the world and people can be so awesome and so helpful and we you know and I also had breakfast with one of my cis male friends and he was awesome and I talked to another of my cis male friends and he was awesome and the deal is you know I think that what you go through with this there's like I'm sure there's multiple approaches, but one of the things is 
is there's the people who are willing to ask you questions and they'll and you know they usually say like you know if you don't want me asking let me know but can I ask you something and I'll go yeah ask me anything and if if it's a problem I'll say hey I don't want to talk about that so there's those people and then there's the people who are afraid to ask you anything and so don't really talk to you right or don't ask you anything and it's just weird and so what I've been telling people is I would way rather have you ask me questions and I'll answer what I want to. And if I feel like you're pushing a boundary, I'm going to say no and I'll probably tell you why. Um, and I realized that part of why that first approach, the asking questions works, is you get to share where you're at. And it's another way in which you get to share your happiness share your joy, share your journey, share the changes that you're going through. Because those are things that, you know, for me, I'm happy about them. I'm happy about this. I'm, I'm not even, you probably can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. But <laughs> I'm happy about that. I'm happy about my voice. I'm happy about everything. I'm happy about how good I feel. I'm happy about my growth, which I don't talk about with everybody. But if anybody wants to know and I'm comfortable with them, I'll say, yeah, that's pretty exciting um so that's what I got this week it it's two months it's amazing um I don't really have the laundry list of changes but I'll say that yeah more muscle mass yeah my neck's getting thicker my voice is getting deeper like Neil Diamond I am I said or it can get deeper I feel more confident. Um, facial hair starting to come in. And this incredible thing about people and about the process and about realizing these things in the process, such as the importance of being able to share it, the importance of being able to talk about it. And that's a way for me in which I can connect to what I want is to actually talk about it and share it and be with it and that is hugely important because when I'm not doing that I don't know what's going on I feel uncertain I mean not totally uncertain but I just feel like I'm not getting to explore what's really motivating me and not being able to really be with be expansive in that joy be expansive with it like ah, oh, yes you know, as opposed to like, oh God, does anybody notice my facial hair? Is that a problem? So, yeah, that's what I got this week. Um, I hope you're doing great. It's snowing here again. Like, it rained for a while and now it's actually, we're supposed to get like four more inches of snow, which for us is, it's a mess, but um, I'll take it. It's bright, it's cheerful. So I hope you had a great week and that I hope the week coming up is great and that you're, uh, you're doing well and um, that if there are changes that you're wanting to see, that you're seeing them and that you're getting to share it with people. Um, that's everything. So. <laughs>